Hello and welcome to this video. Today's question is, can you combine other mediums with oil on paper dry brushing? And the short answer is yes, of course you can. But obviously that's not how I want to leave it. Um, I want to talk about it in a little bit more detail. First of all, I want to say it's a terrific technique to combine with other mediums. So I think I will make more videos about that in the future. For today, I guess I just wanted to make this introductory video about it. For some reason I hardly ever see other artists combining dry brushing with different mediums. I mean you don't really find a lot of dry brushing being done by other artists in the first place but I mean I keep an eye out for it just because I'm interested in this technique myself and I do occasionally see other artists combining other mediums with it. But for the most part, I don't really see it. And I think maybe it is because it works beautifully on its own. It definitely doesn't need to have the help of other mediums, so to speak, to make beautiful artworks. Yeah, but who knows? Who knows why it's not being shown so much? So in future videos, I want to demonstrate how I personally combine media with dry brushing, oil on paper, show it in more detail show a bit more about the process and also explain maybe why I use them. For today, I just wanted to talk about it quickly because I got inspired by the piece that you see me work on in the background. So let me, you know, talk a little bit about that one first. So the idea was to basically have a portrait, a dry brush portrait on top of a abstract watercolor background, so to speak. And so what I meant was a watercolor background that's not just, you know, behind the face, but kind of on the face, so to speak. So it's just, you know, colorful effects and then combined with a monochrome, like black oil paint, dry brush portrait. So that was the idea. Unfortunately, on the day that I was working on this, I, I didn't really feel it. <laughs> I didn't, I wasn't really inspired and I got really impatient with the dry brushing. I don't really know, I, yeah, I can't really say why exactly, but for some reason I thought I wanted to switch to color pencil instead. And I used, I had actually started with the color paints gray in oil color. So then I used a dark gray color for the color pencil to fill in the details. I mean, in retrospect, I wish I would have just put the piece aside and picked it up on the other day because as it is now, I'm not loving it. You can definitely see the end result was pretty rushed. I didn't take the time to blend out the pencil and yeah, it just doesn't look as smooth as I would have liked it to. The details are not as carefully done as, <laughs> as I'd originally thought I would. Yeah, so basically I rushed to the end and yeah don't really love it but I do really like the concept I mean I have played with watercolor and dry brushing before so I knew that it would work and I just wanted to you know venture out a little bit more into combining abstract effects with then a realistic drawing on top of it because I don't know I really like the combination of abstract color effects just because they make me happy but then also realistic portrait drawing because that's another thing that makes me happy and I really like to see them combined in one artwork. So yes, uh, so for this piece to sum up, I combined watercolor, dry brushing that you can't really see much of in the end product, just like the, the shading on the face, like the skin of the face, that's the dry brush, in, but all of the details, all of the darker shadows are basically added in in color pencil later. And I mean, I worked with the Albrecht Dürer watercolor pencil, so I guess I could have just blended it out with water at the end, but I don't know, I just called it finished at some point and you know, I'm not going to bother with it anymore. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about what media to combine with oil on paper dry brushing. Well, the easy answer is you can basically combine it with anything that works on paper. So it's that's what you're working on. So for me, one of the things that I've tried out the most so far is watercolor and also colored pencil. What I really want to give a go is oil pastel to add some, I don't know, some cool effects at the end. 
because I like the roughness of the oil pastel. Um, I recently purchased pan pastel, so it's soft pastel. I think I would like to try how to combine it with dry brushing as well. I don't know what else. Uh, gouache obviously is another watercolor medium. I think you could think of ways to maybe even use acrylic with it. I think the, the real question that you need to ask yourself when you're thinking about combining mediums is in what order you place them on the paper. So you kind of have to have a plan for that because obviously not everything will stick on top of each other if you try to apply it in the wrong order, so to speak. So, I mean, oil pastel, it's, you know, obviously not something that you want to put something on top of just because it has so much texture and, yeah, it's just an oily thing. And if you apply oil pastel to a surface, then um, there's no way that whatever you put on top can still reach the surface to grab, I mean, the paper to grab onto. And, yeah, so you kind of want to think about that first, I guess. The awesome thing about watercolor is that it seeps into the paper. So after that, it's really just a stained surface that you can work on. So I guess if you wanted to use a very, very thin layer of gouache, you know, used with lots of water or acrylic to kind of make a background to work on top of with your oil color, that would work very well. With pencils, I really use it to add details if my brush is not small enough to get the detail correctly or if I'm being impatient honestly because sometimes with the the brush it takes a little bit longer to get the details really really dark so then I will use the pencil I haven't really tried putting oil paint on top of the pencil because that's just not how it works but I don't really see any reason why you wouldn't want to try it now another thing that some artists are concerned about is if your artwork is archival and as far as I know, the order in which you place stuff on top of each other and in which ways you combine them can affect that. Um, with oil paint on paper, you always have the risk of it not being super archival just because the oil paint well has the oil in it and it doesn't really go together with the paper. I made a video specifically about this topic, so I will link that. I mean, I will put a card to click on so you can find that video because you know it's something that you need to or you don't need to but you can uh, take into consideration when picking up dry brushing but yeah that's pretty much it that's as far as the introduction goes actually got pretty long anyway so yeah if if you're interested check back on this channel later to see me talk about how i combine dry brushing with other media in more detail and show you a little bit about the process a bit more and until then happy creating